Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wild Crendor, and what? 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 I'm just kidding, I know where I am. Maybe you don't know where I am, though. I'm in a Rothy Basin. So, I didn't even know this was a thing. I apparently didn't read the patch notes well enough, but there's a new thing called PvP Brawls, and this week's brawl is a Rothy Blizzard. So, we're in a Rothy Basin winter, and its capture objectives, visibility is reduced, and the terrain has frozen. Uh, and, and when, like, when I read this, I didn't even, I saw a tweet of it, because while I was like, Hey guys, check out PvP Brawl, Rothy Basin thing is happening, and I was like, wait, what? And then I saw what was, what was actually going on, and I was like, this is so cool. So I had to log back in. I had to play this, right? Uh... I love these types of things. I've I've mentioned this time and time again. I, I love all the little events they do. Some of them are better than others. I'll admit that. You know, like the uh, the AQ one was not as fun as I thought it'd be. Uh, but this is this is really cool. Ah, I see the uh, chats uh, not changed at all. <laughs> um, what I like about this is they've essentially made a new. Oh wait, I need. A rack of ribs. Uh, they've made a new battleground by taking an old battleground and just adding some new elements to it. So you take a Rothy Basin, you make it a blizzard, and uh, you freeze the water in the middle part. Like, this is crazy. You can't see anything. It's all foggy. I love this. So imagine if they, you know, did this on some other maps. Maybe they made Warsong Gulch like a rainstorm. Uh... Or maybe if they made ultra like, um, you know what I should do? I should pull up all the other, all the PvP brawls that they're apparently doing. That's what I should do. Hold on. All right, we're capping this. I'm also just decked out in a. Where is it? I have 869 item level. 69. <laughs> um, I haven't played my mage in a while. I haven't actually raided like new stuff on him, so I haven't even PvP'd like ever on my mage. So yeah, I hear pip yet? Nobody likes you. Uh, hold on, let me... This is so cool, you got the blizzard gust in it. I'm also a big sucker for, like, aesthetic and environment and stuff. So, that's half the reason I do like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, hold on, hold on. So, I, we're capping this. Alright, PvP brawls. Let me do a quick PvP brawls. Alright, so what are the PvP brawls? Here's the ones that we got. As I uh, look out into the abyss of fog, uh, we have... This one, put away your bathing suit, pull out your parka, and enter a winter wonderland as the Arathi Basin. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, did, I should not stop reading. Hold on, I gotta kill this person. Get out of here! I know someone's gonna be like, he's clicking! He's clicking! Oh wait, did this change? Flame on? Wait, what? I feel like my mage stuff has changed, and I've just, <laughs> I don't actually know. Oh god. Wait, that's supposed to give me more fire blasts. Did they they had to have changed it. Listen, I'm out of the loop, alright? I just want more fire blasts and I'm not getting them. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Um anyway. <laughs> I hate when they always write like this is like a typical like journalism thing where it's like they try to add some elements to the writing. By being all, put away your bathing suit, pull out your parka, and enter a winter water lab. Um, <laughs> anyway, you know and love gets a fresh coat of ice and snow. You'll be racing your way between the farm, stables, mine, lumberyard, and blacksmith through piles of snow and over a mostly frozen lake. One more thing, the weather forecast calls for quite a bit, quite a bit of fog of war. We hope you're prepared for the weather. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Next one is going to be Gravity Lapse Resource Race. Gravity getting you down, step into the eye of the storm, and be prepared for a whole new enlightening experience. Haha. <laughs> Every minute players on the battlefield will find themselves launched into the air, only to gently fall towards the ground again in perpetual aerial ballet as they try to accrue enough resources to take the win home for their team. So it constantly shoots you up into the air, and you fall. So it's just, it's a little thing. But it makes a huge difference. I like it a lot. It reminds me of um, Earth Mode. 
Reminds me of Earth Mode in League of Legends. Those types of game modes where they're like, what if we just do some crazy stuff and let them play it out? Those are usually some of the most fun games. Um, Tarn Milver South Shore Warfare. Originally introduced as part of the World of Warcraft 10-year anniversary event, this brawl harkens back to the early days of WoW PvP with an epic battle between the two towns of Tarn Mill and South Shore. In this game of war, uh, you'll need to work as a team to deplete your foe's resources to claim victory. So they're bringing back the Tarn Mill versus South Shore. Uh, no problems with that. Uh, it's, you know, it's just uh, it's another thing to PvP with. I think it's pretty cool. I, I actually had that idea like a while back. It's like, why don't they just bring it back? It's just a, another game mode. Or a battleground. And now, boom! Blizzard, taking my ideas. But you know what? That's fine with me. I'd rather they take ideas they come up with than not take them. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Uh, they probably didn't even see my stuff. I just like, thought of we're in a big boardroom. Maybe I somehow subtly influenced them. That's all I can hope for. Same with the Dark Moon Fair. Alright, either way. Do you have a flag? Warsong Gulch. Uh, has always been the scene of an epic capture the flag battle. But what happens when you can capture your enemy's flag without your own at base? Find out when you step into this PvP brawl. We've also added a few more power-ups to the field of battle to stir things up a bit. To win, your team will need to be the first to capture five flags. Uh, oh! So you can actually just cap flags by running them back to your base and capping them. You don't need your flag to be there. That's pretty... I like that. That's going to be a really interesting Warsong Gulch uh, thing. I'm definitely going to be playing that one. That's really... I like that a lot. And then you just got to capture five of them is the, the difference because you're going to be capping them all the time. That's neat. I'm going to play that one. Um, these PvP brawls are just the beginning and we look forward to seeing which ones become your favorites. That's awesome. Oh my god. They need an old school Alterac Valley one. Blizzard. Please, <laughs> you need to put in an old school Alterac Valley. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. We just take the old school Alterac Valley, mimic it, and just let it play out and see what happens. See what happens. See if people are like, this is amazing. This is everything I remembered and more. See if people are like, wow, this really was bad. Just or mix up. Do something. There needs to be an Alterac Valley one. There has to be. Maybe. Oh, my God. All right. Here's what they got to do. They need, I've just been standing at this flag. I'm going to go explore. Because uh, we're actually losing. Uh, we'll probably lose this, but I want to explore more of the map. So I don't really care. Uh, they need to make it so they used to have the blood and... Uh, what was the other stuff? They used to just collect a bunch of stuff. One of the things was blood. And you would turn it in and you would get big ass monster dudes that would fight for you. They need to do that on like a bigger scale. Just get a bunch of resor resources, and then you keep summoning these big-ass elementals and trents and people to fight for you, and they start breaking down the gates and stuff. I think that would be so cool. Uh. Uh. Get out of here. Uh. Uh. Why wow, is getting healed? Ah, shit. I mainly just wanted to see the water. Where's my... There we go. <laughs> I said in the equal sign instead of the non-equal sign. Yeah, just come on, guys. Do some... They gotta do something cool with Alterac Valley. No doubt. Oh, I don't have my ice barrier anymore. That's what I don't have. Oh, neat. There's like little, uh... Frost thingies in the water. So you can, like, run across the water. That's pretty cool. Eh. Eh. Oh, -ho, away I go. I like that. Yeah, so you just run across the water. It's neat. Dude, can you get out of here? Oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, where are the ribs I got? Maybe I didn't even get any ribs. How are Allie so shit at this BG? Ask yourself. Oh! Roasted. Um, <laughs> man, this is this is just. Wait, where's my? Where is the food I make going? I just conjured refreshments. That's a pretty good one. Uh, yeah, when you when you are on the internet, especially in World of Warcraft for so long, you just. It's funny how these types of things 
become so... Uh, you don't even notice them. That's what I'm trying to say. It's become second nature. You're just like, oh, there's people arguing with each other. Well, if somebody new would come into here, they'd be like, why is everybody fighting? It doesn't make any sense. It's like, uh, it's just what happens. It's, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, you become part of the culture and the society of the World of Warcraft or the whatever game you're playing. I mean, this happens in every game. It's just the internet. Uh, all right. I'm going to try to capture this farm. There's definitely going to be someone here. Ooh. Yeah, it looks cool. Let's give him the old fireball. Uh, by the way, I'm very bad at PvP. Just throwing that out there. Ah, uh, neat. I am dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm very bad at PvP. Um, you probably knew that coming into this. I mean, I'm not good at uh, other games, so... <laughs> uh, I mainly just wanted to play this battleground. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I always love the weather effects. Like, like I said, I always uh, got really excited when they would add more weather effects to stuff. Like the World of Warcraft patch they made for weather effects was one of my favorite patches. Because I was like, yes, it's going to rain in World of Warcraft. And I loved it. And so when they add some crazy weather like this, it's just... Uh, it's just exciting to me. Alright, come on. Here we go. We just gotta... Come on. Who is hitting me? Uh, what does this do now? Reduce the cooldown of fire blast by two seconds and increase the max charges by one. Why is it... Why does it not work? Wait, max three charges. Oh, it's a passive now? What? I, uh, all I had to do is read it. I was just, I kept trying to be like, why won't it work? That makes sense. Wow, they changed that? Well, I guess that's off the bar. <laughs> uh, what do I want to put there now? I don't know. I guess I'm PVPing. I'll throw Polymorph over there. And then I got a, another thing open. I'll put a escape artist down there or something. Actually, let's do that. Man, that sucks. I enjoyed always doing the the fire blast thing and refreshing him. No wonder people are like switching away from fire mage. Or did I say priest? I probably said fire priest. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. Fire priest would be pretty awesome though. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Where are we getting hit at? I should probably just stay in defend. We're down by a thousand. I think it said mine. Mine! Go mines! <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Whatever. He's gonna fight this warlock. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember when I used to play so many battlegrounds. I think it was, uh... What was it? I think it was Burning Crusade. Burning Crusade, I PvP'd a lot. I PvP'd more than I raided. And then, uh, I did PvP a decent amount of vanilla WoW at one point, but then I got bored of it. <laughs> uh, no, it's just, it just depends what you like to do. Some people only PvP. Some people only raid. Yeah, right, let's see. I'm gonna go help the people at the mines. Let's -a go. All right, we're almost we're almost about to lose. Ah shit! They captured it. Ah, ice blocked me. <laughs> you can't kill me for five seconds, you losers. There's a lot of people here. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> so much for that, and I missed the res. Well, I guess uh, this is. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, yeah, man, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's it's hit that point though. I knew it was gonna hit this point where it's just become 
normal or <laughs> it's become a Rothy Basin. You know? It hits that point after a while, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just playing a Rothy Basin at this point. But I would rather play this map over normal Arathi Basin is thing. Or if it alternates. I like when it alternates. If you've played a uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, I've been playing a lot of that lately if you've been watching me stream and stuff. Um, they have it where it alternates between rain uh, and normal. So sometimes you play on the normal map, sometimes you play on the rain map where uh, you can't really hear footsteps, it's raining so the vision's kind of impaired. Just stuff like that. And I really like that. I like that you can have different weather effects that impact the game. It's like Blood Bowl too. If you ever watch Blood Bowl, you, the weather changes sometimes and it's it's a, it's a feature they put in the games that I always enjoy. So if they have various weather PvP maps that like impact the gameplay, I think that's cool. I've always wanted them to do a zone that was kind of like uh, in Banjo-Kazooie. You know the, what's that, Click Clock Wood, where it has very various seasons. So it's like you go in there and it's spring and then it's summer and it's winter and it's fall and the chest, the, not the chests, the quests and all the, all the environmental stuff and NPCs change based on what season it is. So I think it'd be really cool if I did a thing where it was a zone that once a week changed what season the zone was in. Um, I'd really like that a lot. So, for example, let's say uh, in the winter time, there was a, a squirrel that's hibernating, right? This is just like Click Clock Wood. Uh, I'm just using this as my example. So, in like Banjo Kazooie, there's a squirrel. In the fall, you help him collect nuts so that it, he can hibernate. And, oh my god, I'm going so fast. Sonic, I'm going fast. Uh, I hate rogues. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I hate rogues. Um, so yeah, you, you help him get nuts. Then in the winter he hibernates. Uh, and then in the spring he's just, you know, running around being a squirrel. I forget what it's like in the summer. But like, you know what I mean? It, it changes. Or like, for example, the water. There's a beaver. And in the summer, everything's filled up with water. And he's like, oh, I can't get into my house. This boulder's blocking it. And so... In the fall, the water like drains out of it. You like drain the water, you move the boulder, uh, and he's like, woo, and he goes back in his house. And then you gotta wait again to like go up and uh, talk to him because you can't get up there without more water or something. And then in the winter, the water's all frozen, you can't get in. Uh, and I'm sure they could think up some cool stuff to do with that. Uh, I think it'd be nice to experiment with that in a zone. I don't think they'd make, I don't want it to be in every zone. I just, I think that'd be better than a water zone, to be honest. You know what I mean? Because uh, the water, <laughs> kind of like Valshara, I think it would be better than that. And it would add some, it, it would bring you reason to go back to a zone every week and be like, oh yeah, I got to go back there because I can turn the quest in. I'm sure some people would be like, this is dumb. I want to turn the quest down, but I can't. That's not the point. Um, either way, <laughs> uh, that's the new... PvP uh, Battleground Brawl thing. So, I think it's cool. I'm a fan. Uh, granted, I will say that after a bit, it just becomes normal Arathi base and you're just running around getting points. But it's nice to do it in a di different atmosphere and have the fog kind of create some more, uh, like, create visibility issues. You can't always, like, go like, oh, yeah, I see a guy over there at the blacksmith. You got to actually go there, leave the point. It creates more strategic stuff to do. So, I'm a fan. I'm really looking forward to that Warsong Gulch one. I think that's going to be really cool. So, uh, leave your comments below. What do you think about it? Are you excited? What do you think they should do? I'm a big fan of the Alterac Valley becoming a... Uh, old school Alterac Valley becoming a PvP brawl. I think that'd be cool. So, leave your comments below. And, yeah. Okay. Okay. See ya.